With student loans at the forefront of many people's minds, it's important to be aware of what you're spending and not falling victim to something you don't have to pay for. Well, that is true. And new tonight, 27 News reporter Jacob Kaufman joins us live in studio to tell us how you need to be aware of your spending. Jake. Yeah, thank you, David and, Re and Rebecca. As of October, people are back to paying student loans, including myself. In fact, just today, I received a letter in the mail saying for a fee, I could be eligible for total loan forgiveness. But one financial aid officer tells me that, that might not be the case. Thank you for calling the Student Assistance Center. This is Ricardo. How can I help you? Hi. Um, I got a letter in the mail uh, saying final notice for student loan consolidation and payment uh, reduction uh, program. With many people paying off student loans, many are also hoping for total loan forgiveness. Some might also be getting letters in the mail saying that's a possibility. But you shouldn't believe everything you're told, especially if they say you have to pay. I'm just wondering what the fee is for per se when you know there's options to do this for free yeah i completely understand so the fee it depends on the debt amount right but for the most part if you get approved for the program the fee would be 299. working for you we talked to a financial aid officer to see if paying for services is actually worth it Working with your loan servicer, working with the Department of Education, you can definitely do the same things that they're offering for free uh, without having to pay a fee. We also reached out to the Better Business Bureau and they left us this statement. Find a reliable source. Consumers can apply for loan deferments, forbearance, repayment, and forgiveness or discharge programs directly through the U.S. Department of Education or their loan servicer at no cost and do not require a third party. While a third party isn't required to pay off your student loans, neither should be the stress that comes with paying them off. It looks like they're trying to create a sense of urgency with you um, by, by saying that this is the final notice. They don't have any of your payment information. They don't have any of your loan balance. Um, the, anything that you can do to consolidate your loans typically doesn't have an expiration date. Now, if you get a letter in the mail, a phone call, or an email about student loans and are skeptical, you should reach out to your student loan provider first, especially before spending your money. Working for you, live in studio, Jacob Kaufman, 27 News.